Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Please excuse my appearance. I just left the gym, but I did just pull into Dollar Tree. I want to run in and find a few things. One, I want to buy a few more craft stuff for the kids. It's supposed to be raining for the next like week or two here in Georgia. Thunderstorms and just gloomy, overcast raining. So the things I had planned to do over the summer so far are all outside. Like I want to bring them to a park that had like a little water stream that they were able to play in, bring them to the pool and just do other stuff that are outdoor that we can't do. So since we're gonna be stuck in the house for a while, I want to pick up some more craft stuff for the kids to do inside. Also, I follow Do It On A Dime and she recently went to Dollar Tree and found so many cute things that I wanna also pick up. She found some cute stuff for her garden and then some stuff for her kids and just organizing stuff. So I want to see if I can find, her Dollar Tree is much bigger than mine, so hopefully I can find in my Dollar Tree what she found in hers. So I thought I would do a little shop with me in Dollar Tree, and if I pick up anything, then I will do a little haul at the end and show you guys what I picked up. So I'm going to head in because Madison is getting pretty cranky, so we will see you guys inside of Dollar Tree. <laughs> much much later it is around six o'clock like 6 30 6 40 i just finished taking madison a bath and she's actually in the room with me because she would not stay out in her room to play she was crying so she might make a little appearance if she decides to come over to this side she's on my other side of my room playing but anyways i did pick up a few items from dollar tree or 
more than a few items. I have like four bags here full of stuff. Um, I went in there specifically for like craft stuff for the kids because like I said, here in Georgia, it's been raining a lot. And actually today it was supposed to rain all day. It did rain all morning to afternoon. And then once it hit like noon, one o'clock, then it stopped raining and now it's sunny and beautiful. So I don't know what's going on with this weather, but the forecast does say that it's going to be raining for the next few days, all the way up until next week. So I want to pick up some craft stuff but everything they had in my Dollar Tree, I already have. So I ended up only picking up like one or two craft things. So I'm going to have to maybe go to Joanne's or Michael's, see if I can pick up some more craft stuff for the kids. But let's just jump right into what I did pick up. Oh, the other thing that I really wanted was like little um, stuff for my garden. I went like maybe like last month or not even a few weeks ago and they had so many cute stuff for your garden. Like little gnomes, little fairy houses, little rocks that had things on it and they had nothing. So I don't know, maybe it's just the Dollar Tree I went to. I'm going to try another Dollar Tree and see if they have anything. I do know Target does have some garden stuff out so I might try Target as well. But anyways, I did find some good stuff so I thought I would share with you guys. In this bag, I have a bunch of like Ziploc bags, so I did just pick up a box of this Glad Ziploc bags. I did pick up the kids some Ziploc bags as well, and this one is Disney Princesses. It comes with 20, and they're just like sandwich bags where you can put snacks in them, so I picked up the Princess ones for Madison, and then the Paw Patrol ones for Ryan. I love these. You guys should check out your Dollar Tree if you guys have little ones. These are perfect to throw in snacks or maybe their lunches. For school right now Ryan just got out of school I used to use them for his school but now that it's summer I still pack them lunches whenever we go out for errands so these are really good then I found this the box is all messed up but the cups are completely fine so we use these paper cups in Ryan's bathroom from when he brushes his teeth and I've never seen these in my Dollar Tree until today these are at Mickey Mouse Clubhouse ones so I picked him up a box of these this was the only one they had so this is the only one I was able to grab. I'm not sure what other ones they may have, but this is what I found at my Dollar Tree. Then I also picked up these microfiber cloths. I've never tried the microfiber cloths from Dollar Tree, so I thought I would give it a go. I like microfiber cloths to clean my house. So comment down below, let me know if any of you guys have tried this and if it works well. The next two things are going to be these really cute mason jars that I found. I thought these were really cute for summer, 4th of July, Memorial Day, or not even. You can use this anytime you would like. You could even pass with like little candy canes for like Christmas. But I liked these. I thought I can put maybe my protein shakes, water, anything in here to sip on. And they are glass. So I thought that was a really good quality. And it comes with a straw, so I picked up two of these. Next in this bag, I picked up a few things for my sister. My sister's birthday is next week. And I need to send her out a package for her birthday. So I picked up just this loose paper, like just decorative paper. So I got it in purple and pink so I can throw in her box and make it all cute. Then I also picked up some candy for her, which I'm so tempted. I really want this, but I can't have it because I'm on keto. But she loves like blow pops. So I got her a bag of blow pops. And then you guys tell me, comment down below if you guys remember this when you were young. When I was young. Me and my sister used to love these gums. They are the fruit and stripes that have the tattoos inside. I thought I was the coolest. Anytime I had this gum, I would put the tattoos on me. And I just, just brought back so many memories. And I grabbed a pack for my sister. I should have grabbed a pack for myself as well. But I did grab one for my sister. She is going to die when she sees this. This just brings back so many memories. This was definitely a favorite when I was younger. Then I also picked up this cute little photo album in the front. It says family. And I thought that I could just develop a few pictures and put it in here and send it to my sister as well. It's part of her birthday gift. So I have to go to Walmart and print out some pictures to put in here. But I just thought that was a cute little gift idea. Then I also found this little pen I actually bought a bunch of these pens I gave one to Madison's therapist and to Ryan's teachers and then I grabbed an extra one for my sister and it has a little unicorn crystal on top with some feathers in the bottom I just thought that was really cute she can throw in her purse or anywhere in the house in her drum drawer she needs a pen I just thought it was cute so I grabbed her a pink one then I grabbed myself this pack of pens I've never tried these pens I'm hoping they work good and they are pink purple and blue and I thought they were really cute. The design on it is really cute as well. 
so they look like they're pretty good quality so I like to jot things down a lot and write in my notebook so I grabbed a pack of this then I grabbed a magnetic list pad I always have one of these on my refrigerator to write down lists of things that I need from the grocery stores or things I need to do and the one I have now barely has any paper left on it so I picked up another one then I just picked up some dry erase markers the ones I had are drying out so I needed a new pack and then I thought I would try this. I usually do not buy any makeup from Dollar Tree. The only makeup I will pick up from Dollar Tree is the e.l.f. brand just because I know I like e.l.f. and I use e.l.f. and I buy it a lot. But other than that, I don't usually just because I'm, my skin is super sensitive and I'm always scared to use their stuff. But eyeshadow, I feel like I feel safe using shadows from dollar stores. So I found this one by LA Colors in Nude. And I just thought that all the colors were really pretty. So I thought I would try that out. And for only a dollar, if it doesn't work out and it's too chalky, I don't mind because I only paid a dollar and you get quite a few colors in there. So I'll be trying that out soon. Next, I found this. I've been finding so many people haul this. And I actually have been watching Do It On A Dime. And she did a really cute like little DIY where she put a bunch of flowers. It was just a really beautiful flower arrangement. And I love the way it turned out. So I picked up one of these. I still need to go back and buy some flowers and greenery to put in here. And I will set it somewhere in my house. But I thought that was really pretty. So I grabbed one of these. Next is going to be two serving trays. I don't know why I fell in love with these serving trays. I just thought they were so cute. So maybe if I have a little get together, a girls night, whatever, I thought I can serve some snacks or food on here. So this one has a bunch of just like green leaves on it. And then this one is a bunch of beautiful flowers. So I grabbed these two. So if I ever have a little get together anytime soon, I can serve as snacks on here. And since Father's Day is around the corner, I bought a little Father's Day card for my father-in-law from the kids so I can send that to him. I also picked up Madison some bows and clips. They have so many cute bows and clips at Dollar Tree for little girls. So I found these. This is a pack of two. I got her these. And then I also got her these really pretty clips. Some of them have glitter in it and then some of them are just plain solid. But for a dollar, I thought that was a really good deal. So I bought that for Madison. And then for a craft item for Ryan, I found these foam masks. He loves to pretend playing superhero and wear masks and capes. So I thought this would be a good, fun little DIY craft you can do. It comes with two little masks that he can make his own. So we bought that. And guys, I got super excited when I found these. I've never tried these out before, but I thought they were so cool. So Ryan loves to color. I found these things that they are called Color Alive by Crayola. So basically it's a coloring book that the kids will color in. There's a bunch of different pages. The kids will color in the coloring book and then you download an app. The reason why it's called Color Alive is because you download a free app and then it interacts with the kids and you can do creative selfies. You can do animations where it actually becomes like 3D and comes out of your notebook into your phone. It's so cool. I haven't tried it yet, but just the idea seems to be awesome. So I bought this one. I bought this one in Avengers and then I bought him one in, it's called Mythical Creatures. And then I also bought one, it's called Skylanders. And then I bought one for Madison in Frozen. And then if Madison ends up not liking it or not into it, because she's not into a lot of things, then Ryan will be very happy to play with it because he loves Frozen as well. And now on to the last bag that I have. Since they have all their summer stuff out, I decided to pick them up, these little ring floaties. So this one's for Madison, it is a watermelon. And then this one for Ryan is just a green little fish. So when we go to the pool, they can use these. Next thing I picked up for Ryan, Ryan is really into like bugs and insects. Every time we go outside, he's looking at ants, he's looking at worms, he's looking at butterflies, anything. So I thought this would be really cool for him to do. We can go outside and he can find little insects. It comes with a magnifying glass, little tweezers, and then like a little canister he can put the bugs in. And then it has a bunch of holes on top so the bugs can breathe. And then another magnifying glass on the top so he can look into it. So I thought one day that would be cool just to go outside and do a little scavenger hunt and look for bugs. And then the last items I bought, I actually bought five of them. We just finished doing a little garden in front of my house. And I thought these would look cute. They're just like little solar stakes that you put outside. 
So I bought five of them. I'm not sure if this is too many or too little. But for now, I just bought five. I'm going to put them outside and see how they look and see how well they work out. For a dollar, I thought that was a pretty good price. So I bought five of those. And that ends my Dollar Tree shop with me and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. I did pick up quite a few things here. And I feel like I lucked out on a lot of things, especially these color lives. I'm super excited to try these out with the kids and hopefully it's as cool as I think because it just sounds really cool. So yeah, that is going to end today's video. As always, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, remember to hit that subscribe button so you can join me and my YouTube family. Also, turn on your notification bell if you would like to be notified anytime I upload a video and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.